What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to go through the latest TWAB. Now this week at Bungie which covers many changes coming on June 4th with Season of Opulence. Uh, so let's get straight into it. The next season begins in less than two weeks on June 4th. We'll deliver the full and final patch notes. Before that happens though, we'd like to share with you some of the more key changes you'll be seeing in Season of Opulence, from one season to the next. As Season of the Drifter comes to a close, a new source for powerful rewards will emerge. The Drifter will return to his role as your Gambit Hype Man, and Benedict9940 is about to become your source for brand new secrets and rewards. Let's take a look at how this new perspective will be making some sweeping changes to your weekly routine. Power Surge. Instead of a set of bounties, a new Power Surge quest will be your jumping off point for Season of Opulence. You will need to complete this quest to access the new raid. Learning from Season of the Forge, this quest must be completed only once per account. After one character completes the quest, alternate characters will be rewarded with Surge gear at power level 690. Gambit Bounties. We didn't want rewards from the Drifter to be one of the main primary sources of power following his run as central character for Season of the Drifter. As a result, power boost received from Gambit Bounties will decrease once you achieve 700 power. They will decrease even further once you reach 720 power, like what? Okay, moving on to Prime Attunements. On day 1, Prime Attunements will be reset to 2 charges for each player. You will receive 2 new Prime Attunements, even if you are playing right up to the reset. We want you to be able to play your favourite character without it impacting your power leveling strategy. We talked about this in the previous TWAB, indeed they did. Crown of Sorrow Raid The Crown of Sorrow Raid begins on day 1 of Season of Opulence at 4pm PDT. Players who want to complete will need to complete the Power Surge quest. We've taken additional steps to level the playing field for world's first status. All player power will be capped at power under each encounter within the raid for the first 24 hours. While contest is active, players will face an enforced challenge throughout the raid. This means power beyond certain levels will provide no advantage for a given fight. E.g. for the first fight all power above 700 won't provide an advantage. And for the final fight power above 720 will not provide an advantage. Wow! That's craziness! We are going to deploy the update at 8am pacific and the game will be down until 10am pacific so that as many players as possible can get through the download and verification step and be ready for Oculus launch. Our goals for the cap. Progression that challenges raiders to climb to compete for worlds first. A world's first race that tests your skill, communication and strategy. A world first raid that is fair. Well to be honest they are trying to make it as fair as possible. And capping levels for each encounter. I suppose it's a good idea if that's what they plan on doing. Ok so we're going to move on to Eververse updates. With Season of Opulence we're making some changes to the Eververse store. We had two main goals for the changes we're making to Eververse in Season of Opulence. Direct pick. Every new Eververse item in Season of Opulence will be available for direct purchase via silver or bright dust. Wow! Now this is something I actually hoped they would bring into this a long long time ago when everybody had issues with uh, Eververse and Tess and the shit she was selling was all the best loot. I said I made a video at that time saying why not just make them available for direct purchase for either silver or bright dust. So those of you who have got them stacks of bright dust it seems as though you'll be able to spend that shit on all her new stuff. Most of these offers will be time limited with new items available weekly. Now I mean this sounds good right here but we don't know exactly how this might work. You may be able to buy any item you want for money for silver straight up straight away and all these said things for bright dust which will reset on our weekly we just do not know. 
Greatest Hits. Season of Opulence Bright Engrams will contain a collection of community favourite legacy items with a focus on the best of year one. If you missed out on Spacey Ramen or the selfie emote, Season of Opulence is your chance. While I did miss out on the selfie emote, so I'm glad they're bringing that back. Some additional details. Armour. Four armour sets will be made available as a single per class bundle, as opposed to being offered only via Bright Engrams. Individual armour pieces can and also be purchased for Bright Dust whenever they appear at the storefront. These armour pieces feature fixed perk rolls that are not randomised across duplicates. A simpler interface. Specific items are now featured on the front page and recycled with each weekly reset. Most offers will be time limited to make way for rotating inventory with some coming back into rotation at a later date. Players can access this new interface by visiting Tess in her usual tower location. And we can have a look at that interface on the screen now. Wrapped items and refunds. Individual items purchased for silver will now go to the relevant character inventory location in a wrapped state. Example, a sparrow purchased directly for silver will arrive wrapped in the sparrow inventory. To use an item it must be opened, just like a bundle. Once opened, the item functions and can be accessed normally. If you wish to refund an item, you will have 7 days from purchase to do so. Items that have been opened cannot be refunded. Coolio! All of these changes go live on day 1 of Season of Opulence. As always, we'll be monitoring how this all works and are eager to hear what you do and don't like about the new store front. And that's basically it guys for this week's TWAB. In my opinion some great changes coming, not gonna lie, especially the ones to Tess. I think the way they're making a the raid and making it all fair on day one for all the race for it is pretty fair too because a lot of people normally stack keys, they stack uh, bounties for powerful rewards and so much more so if they want to keep it fair this is probably the way to do it especially dropping the raid on day one. Also you have to do a quest before you can even get into the raid which is pretty cool too. But yeah guys, tell me your thoughts on this down below in that comment section. I actually expected to see or hear a little more about the nerfs they uh, dropped last week, but they're keeping a little quiet on that for sure. But guys, tell me your thoughts on this down below in that comment section. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really does help out. Hopefully you guys did, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.